Okay, so Clive, welcome back to Emmett's Old Trafford. It's great to have you here. How, how nice is it for you to be able to come back, experience a test match and see some familiar faces? Yeah, it's only been great to come back here. It's like my second home. Um, I've, learned, uh, I've had a lot of experience playing for Lancashire here and, uh, and a lot of success. So it's been a great part of my life. You mentioned like when you played here in the past, the, the redevelopment of the ground now, it, it's changed a lot. What, what do you make of the place now and the atmosphere around? Oh, well, it's obviously when, when it was sort of very cumbersome when, it, you know, we had a crowd. And now you, you can sit in comfort and enjoy the game. It's, 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 it's a vast improvement to when I started here. And it's good. It's good for cricket. It's good for the people who want to bring their family, you know, and um, you can have a great day. And back, back in your day when you were playing test cricket around the world, when you used to come back here, how did this place used to compare to, to other test venues around the world? Well, it's all been excellent here. The atmosphere is good. You know, we had a good dressing room. We, we had a lot of people that made us quite happy. And they are proud of what we, we did. So playing here at Lancashire, you, you felt comfortable. And um, I support the result. The, the result in the excellent um, period we had during the, the, the 80s, 70s and 80s. And there's a lot of talk about Test cricket at the minute and the future structure of the game and all that kind of thing. What, what sort of position do you think Test cricket is in at the minute? Well, looking at the people that have arrived here, it's obvious that Test cricket is not dying. Um, I'm hoping that good sense will, will prevail and we will continue to play Test cricket because it is the best form of cricket to, to play, there's no doubt about that. I always I would say that T20 is an exhibition, test cricket is an examination. And really that's how it should be. The point is it's, it's pitting your skill, skills against uh, one another over five days. And um, it's good to see that people are still, you know, attending test matches. And this England side under Brendan McCullum as well, since he's come in, they're playing some really exciting cricket. What, what, what have you made of the way that they're going about it at the well, moment? Well, yes, they're, they're doing extremely well. And, um, you know, and England should never be, 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 they should be between one and three. They play, the county cricket is about the best type of cricket to play. It's the hardest. And um, a lot of great players want to play county cricket. So they're, the young players from England pitting their skills against some of their top class players uh, on, in the world. So really and truly, it's good to see that, you know, Test County Cricket is still there and still holding its own. And if we can just jump ahead slightly to next year. So we've got an Ashes Test here at Emirates Old Trafford. As, as a neutral, so to speak, what, what do you make as the, of the Ashes as a contest? Oh, it's always, Ashes always will be, you know, interesting. And um, I would think that now that England is doing so well, Australia is a top class side. I think it goes well for a very good test series. And do you think particularly Ashes tests at, at this venue, so they've had the shame warm ball of the century, it's had some real iconic moments here. It, it's a real great place for an Ashes contest. Yes, it is. Old Trafford has always been a wonderful place to play cricket. Um, and I'm sure this next Ashes series would be would be and would not be any different. I think there's something to look forward to next year. And we we just spoke briefly off camera a little bit about Lancashire. You said you've been following the progress of the lads this year. What what do you make of the current crop of Lancashire players? Well, yes, they're doing quite well, um, and I, I hope it continues because we we have that tradition of being one of the top sides in um, in England, and I'm sure that. Um, they will continue to do well. They're, they're playing extremely. They chased down 340-odd yesterday and won, uh, I wouldn't say easily, but at least to make 340 bat in second. It's, a, it's wonderful. And I, I, am, I hope they, they get to the final and win it. And we, obviously, we had the glory days of the 80s and the 90s when we were almost like the kings of one-day cricket. It, it would be great to see the current crop bring a trophy back to Emirates Old Trafford now. Oh, yes. And we, we do need a trophy, Lancashire. And I hope um, this year there would be a starting of many. And just finally, a couple of years back, you were inducted into the Lancashire Cricket Hall of Fame. Just tell us a little bit about that evening and how, how special that was for you and for your family who were in attendance as well. Well, it's always good to be recognised for what, you, what you've done. And I've been involved with this club for probably 40 or 50 years. So I spent a lot of my um, career here. So I have a 
great affinity with the people, um, the north of England. And it was, yes, it was a wonderful evening. And just to see some of the my ex players there too. Um, so it was, yes, it was, it's an evening to remember. Perfect. Thanks for your time, Clive, and have a great day today. Thank you, I'm sure it will be a wonderful day's cricket.